Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how we can create a beautiful informative KPI indicator chart with conditional formatting. So as you are seeing my screen, I have here service level value and the target of the service level. So here you can see I have created this beautiful chart. In this chart, you can see the service level value is less than the target. That is the reason this indicator is showing in red color. If I will change the value of service level 85, then it will automatically change in green color. Similarly, if I will put any value which is less than the target, that will be in red color. So in this video, you will learn how we can create this beautiful chart in Microsoft Excel. I will copy this data and will add a new worksheet here and just paste this data here i'll go to the view and remove the grid lines first of all from the worksheet to create this chart i need two support column the one i'll need slice the second will be the indicator in the slices i'll take default 10 percent the 10 slices for the indicator i'll put a formula here and the first formula I'll use service level value minus. So here the indicator width I'll take 5%. That is why I'm using here 2.5%. So I'll minus half of the indicator width from this service level. And here I'll put a condition and I'll take this indicator for a red. So I'll use if service level value is less than the target then it will return 5% else it will return 0% similarly i'll put the formula here if the service level bill value is greater than or equal to this target then i'll take 5% otherwise it will take 0% and just close the bracket change the format now we have these values so i'll select the slices and indicator column then i'll go to the insert charts and here i'll go to the column chart in the column chart i'll choose 2d column and this one which is a stacked column now i'll right click on this chart go to the select data in the select data source window i'll click on this button switch row column and then click on ok so our chart has been changed and it will look like this now first of all i'll remove the legion from here then i'll remove the grid line select and press delete and right click on this axis go to the format axis now here i'll take minimum value as zero the maximum value I'll take 1.03 which is 103 percent because I have taken the width of indicator as 5 percent and half of that 5 percent will be 2.5 so I'm taking here the maximum value as 1.03 if in case our service level value is 100 percent then our complete indicator should be displayed if we will take only one here in that case only half of the indicator will be displayed okay and the measure i'll take 0.1 which is 10 percent just scroll it down go to the tick mark and here in tick mark i'll go to the measure type i'll take as outside minor type i'll take as outside then right click here go to the format data series and here in the format data series window you can see the gap width as 150 percent just take it as zero percent now change the width of the chart and we will take around this width first of all click on the horizontal axis and press delete so the horizontal axis is deleted now now first of all i'll double click on this slice then i'll go to the home and i'll take the color fill as no fill and now i'll select the first slice this one double click here and i'll go to the home and i'll fill the red color here this color 
and the second slice i'll fill the this red and in the first one we have filled the dark red then the red now I, we will fill little bit of lighter red and we'll choose around this color in the next slice uh, we will fill the light yellow color in the next slice we will fill the light green color this one then we will fill little bit of darker green and we'll choose this one now again little bit of darker green okay so we have filled all the colors now we will change the bevel of each slice so i'll select the first one double click on this and then go to the format shape effects and then i'll go to the bevel i'll choose the first one which is circle similarly i'll select the second slice double click on this and just press f4 and the next one press f4 and we have changed the bevel of for the all slices now i'll go to the insert and shapes then i'll go to this arrow which is left arrow click on this and just click here this arrow has been created now i'll change the color of this arrow so i'll choose this color the green color shape outline i'll choose as no outline then i'll go to the shape effects preset and then i'll choose this preset which is preset 2 again i'll go to the shape effects shadow i'll choose as no shadow i'll make a copy of this arrow and just paste here and this time i'll fill the red color in this arrow so here this is for the red color so i'll copy the red arrow and just select this slice double click here and paste it here and it will look like this now just type here some number which should be greater than 75 percent let's say 80 then select this green arrow and double click on this slice and just paste this here so the green arrow will look like this now if i will change the value of service label let's say 60 percent then it will show the red arrow if i will change the service label value let's say 75 percent then it will be a green arrow now right click and add the data label we can keep this data label here now select this data label go to the formula bar press equal to and just click on this service level value which is on a2 and just press enter now here the service level value will be displayed change the color as black if i will change the value as 85 then it will be available here if i will change the value as 75 then it will be available here if i will change the value as 65 so now if we will change the value let's say uh, 35 percent then it will look like this if we will change as uh, 72 percent then still it will be in red if we will change it 82 then it will be in green so friends that's how you can create this beautiful chart with the conditional formatting in microsoft excel i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching